The tourism and hospitality sector have recorded a $171 million loss in revenue due to the adverse impact of coronavirus. Ghana's Minister of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts made this known to um, the media at the Information Ministry's press briefing. According to her, the loss were recorded from March 2020 to June 2020. Um, so joining us to look at the situation, of course, in Nigeria um, is a sustainable travel advisor and CEO of Zeria Travel and Tours Limited, Aditutu Adedeji. Hi, Tutu. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, so um, we have figures from Ghana now, but we know we struggle with statistics and data and numbers in Nigeria. But you play in that field. How much would you say we have lost so far? Okay, um, I know the last report, as at April, um, so we have an association called Nanta. I know we've lost about 180 billion, if not billion. more, but yes. Billion Naira. Say 180 billion. Yeah, Naira. Okay. Not dollars, Naira. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So that's what we've lost. And um, and I'm saying even um, right now, and that's, I think that is even, even margin now, because when you're think, thinking of losses, you think of, look, compare year on year, and um, we expect more losses towards, towards the um, year end. Because for me, I don't see people traveling as much as how they did last year. People need to be convinced that it's safe for them to travel. And um, I know it's safe for them to travel. And I know some people are also going to wait for the vaccine. So safety is going to come first right now. And um, we see this year, 2020 for the tourism sector, might not, it doesn't look so good. 2021, I'm sure things will be fine and um, would expect to start going from 2021. Hmm. So how do you then, um, you know, fill that gap? It's be, well, only in like the first half of 2020. That's a long time away. We, going now to the grassroots, how does the people in the industry, the employees and staffs and even owners, how do they, will I say, keep busy to, um, through this period of, of so much loss? So now, um, I know some people have been keeping busy. People, some have even come out to do like new products and also trying to fine tune the process. So I tell people that, look, this COVID period is a period where I look, you need, it's not going to be business as usual like, anymore. Mm. It's not business as usual. Even for people, like the honest truth is, um, my colleagues will see a lot of job loss. If I thought there's not going to be job loss, there'll be a lot of um, reduction in salary. Because it doesn't make sense paying salary and you're not earning anything. From March to date, nothing, as in business actually dropped from 100% to zero. Wow. And um, another thing where people, we don't see, I don't see anything until when countries revise this, is look, they're saying, look, when you come to our country, you're going to spend 14 days. You won't want to travel to Dubai and you'll be quarantined for 14 days. Mm -hmm. No one would want to do that. So I think right now is, time for us to start looking inwardly. So I, um, what I'm thinking now is, look, this is time for us to promote the Nigerian tourism sector. How ready is the travel industry? If the government says, okay, it's safe for you to travel, everyone open up the airlines and let, let us move now. How ready are you guys? Are we now going to start looking for um, precautionary measures, safety measures to put in place just now? Because I think we should be doing that already so that whenever they say we're ready to go, you have your plan. So what are the plans that are being put in place right now? Okay, now the plants, I know um, the um, fund has been educating people on um, most um, on how travels will continue and sport. Then our, uh, my firm at Syria Travels, what we did, I think about two weeks ago, we came up with, um, with a short video of what people would expect. You know, told, we told them about social distancing, you have to get to the airport early and all that. So we've been giving, we've been advising people, sending mails to our client, this is what we expect. Um, we have to, most like most countries, I know especially for Europe, we'll take the vaccine serious. Um, we'll take, so we need to be ready for that. Um, what else again, the social distancing and um, every other thing, online check-in, Okay, Basically, so that's um, all. pretty much all NCDC has um, has been clamoring for. Um, but let's look at local tourism, like you said. Um, the 
um, presidential um, tax force, they said, um, they've told the airlines to start preparing towards um, flying again. That's yeah. interstate right now. And um, if I'm looking at it correctly, I would feel that um, the best bet now is to look at promoting Nigerian tourism to Nigerians. Mm -hmm. I mean, getting the local tourism right. So what would you say um, the industry should begin to do to at least try to recuperate within before we can think of um, um, flying internationally? Okay, so um, let me go back to, I know a few weeks, few days ago, we did a survey to get people's, um, we wanted to have people's interest, wanted to know what people were also thinking. Though Nigeria has full potentials, good potentials, but even with the local tourism, Nigeria is faced with two things, security and lack of infrastructure. Mm. However, security, based on the research we did, which I can actually share that with you as well, 95% of the people were worried about security. Mm. North where it is so beautiful, you don't want to go. Even, and you now look at it, okay, places like Oluma Rock, maybe the road, there, uh, road to Oluma Rock, is not so good but now it's now time for us travel agents people to come together and say look it is time to promote this thing and i tell people nigeria right yes we need the government but we have to assume that there is no government for us to move forward you know because i know the association has been saying look give us good security give us good infrastructure tourism is the future there's a report that came out um from Barclays bank we, if our if tourism sector was in flow boom, out one out of ten persons would be employed. So these are the things we need to look at. So I tell people like, you know, when now security is the issue, lack of infrastructure. We're in Lagos, and we said, look, you know, Lagos is um, Lagos is quite nice, and let's even start exploring Lagos. If I, I'm sure you're, you, if I talk, okay, do you know there's scuba diving in Lagos? Mm -hmm. Most people are not aware of this. So what wow. we want to start doing is promoting the interesting things in Lagos, in okay. Nigeria. But we are starting with Lagos because of the security. Okay, I wish you had more time to talk more on the sector, but thank you for your time, Aditi, too. All right, thank you.